Hey Gabby here, thanks for grabbing the marketing machine. You're going to love it. Before I let you loose on it, I just wanted to share a couple of things about it. So to have this work really, really well, there's a couple of things you want to get. And that is that there is a who, a what, and a how to getting stuff done and taking your business to the next level. Now the who in marketing, by the way, say hello to my cute little dog that just jumped on my lap. Yeah, say hello Mia. Say hello everybody. Yeah, the who in marketing is, is the who that actually wants to help. So it's not the kind of, you don't want to be the identity, the person that is doing marketing for the pure reason of adding cash flow and money to your business. You want to be coming from a place of what we do in our business is so friggin' awesome that the, that the world needs to know about it, that our market needs to know about it. And we're going to put marketing out there to add value, to spread the love, because what we have is really important. Yeah, so it's more of a, when you come at marketing from, I have a mission, I have a purpose that's greater than my back pocket, then your marketing works so much better. Next thing is what, it's the what to do. So ultimately, you know, there's many, many different projects that you can undertake, and you'll have a look, there's 20 different marketing projects inside the marketing machine. Now, it's also about knowing which ones to do, yeah? So what do I mean by that? So there are certain projects that we do in marketing that are long-term. They're setting us up to look after our business long-term. And then there's projects that we do sort of more short-term to try and get clients in quickly. So there's quick and then there's slow burning marketing projects. If you're in a position right now that you actually do need to increase clientele ASAP and, um, and obviously you know increase profitability ASAP, then what we want to do is we want to make sure that the projects you're building predominantly first are the ones that are going to get clients in the door as soon as possible. And so when you look at the marketing machine, these things are like referral, you know, getting a really good referral system in place, joint ventures, creating opt-in, uh, opt-ins, yeah, lead magnets, things like writing a book. Let's face it, it takes time. Things like going after awards, you know, yes, they're great for marketing, Ultimately though, it's gonna take you a while to get the award, and the purpose of the award is purely just to separate you and have you look a bit more, like more of an expert in your marketplace. So when you have a look through this, you know, where are you at? Are you in a position where, where you wanna make sure that you are you know, building a bigger flow of clients, um, flow of clients, um, and you're, you're actually okay, like you, know, you do have a, a steady, um, a steady amount of clients coming in right now? Or are you in a position where you're literally, like, you know, you've got a trickle of clients coming in and you want to create much more of a flow? So if you're in trickle, do the projects that are actually going to be more proactive and get your clients sooner, like referrals and joint ventures. If you're already, you know, if you're already flowing, but you want to make sure that that flow continues and turns into more of a flood and it's there long term for you, then you can start focusing on the projects that are more about you know getting your expert status out there. That's when you can go even more nuts with your content marketing, write a book, get some awards. I trust that helps. So enjoy the marketing uh, machine is either below or to your left or to your right, depends on where the guys end up putting it. And um, I actually go into massive detail on this at an upcoming event I'm running, which is called the Business Freedom Intensive. So marketing machine is actually one pillar of a six pillar system I've created called the Business Freedom Formula. And the purpose of the system is to help business owners just like you to get to a place in business where they've got the time, the money, and the fulfillment that they've always wanted. If you'd like some more personal time with me, uh, looking at the uh, marketing machine and having it built inside your business, and you wanna spend like decent amounts of time with me by your side, rolling my sleeves up, so to speak, and helping you build this, I invite you to check out the link. There'll be a link that says Business Freedom Intensive somewhere on this page. Check it out, see if it's for you, and I'd love to see you there. One more quick tip, when you are building your marketing machine, make sure that you build it one to two projects at a time and finish those projects. The worst thing we can do in business, and so many business owners do it, is take a scattered approach, where we start a marketing project, we'll go, oh, I need to redo my website and we'll start working on that, but that's taking too long, and we find something else that's shiny and pretty to do instead, so we leave that project, and we go after the next one, 
and before you know it, you've got a lot of unfinished marketing projects. So to me, an unfinished project is a project that's not bringing in a flow of clients, yeah? So just because you have a website doesn't mean anything unless that website's actually bringing clients to you. You may be working, you may be doing stuff on social media, but if you're not getting clients from social media, that project's not complete. Either you need to learn more about the, um, you know, the project that you're building, yeah? Or you might need to hire someone to help you out, an expert that can help you, you know, execute, finish, finalize. So a project's only finished when it brings you clients. If it doesn't, it means it's unfinished. So we want to make sure that we finish these projects before we move on. Otherwise, we have 10 projects on the go. We feel overwhelmed. Uh, we procrastinate and we probably end up just having a drink with our mates instead of doing what we're meant to be doing. Once again, I really do hope to see you at the Business Freedom Intensive where I can help you build all of this in there. And thanks for watching.